Astronomers uh, seek to better understand our universe and everything that's in it, including planets, uh, the Earth itself, and the other planets in our solar system, all the stars, all the galaxies, and even the shape and size of the universe itself. Uh, and so we really seek to understand where our place is uh, in the universe, and, and also study some of the other places outside the Earth and see really how different they really are compared to where we find ourselves uh, here and currently. My personal research interests include extrasolar planets. Those are planets that are orbiting other stars, literally alien planets in a sense. And so I'm really interested in studying uh, how many planets there are outside of our solar system and, and what their properties are like. Are they similar to the Earth and to Jupiter and Saturn, or are they totally different? And what we found so far is that there's a huge mixture and a huge range of, of planets, so it's just really exciting in terms of the potential that exists out there. The other thing I study are star formation and understanding how planets are formed uh, when they're still just dust and gas, and I also study eclipsing binary stars, uh, which are pairs of stars, to better understand stars like the Sun and measure their mass and radius with very high precision. Only certain astronomers uh, spend a lot. Uh, I'm what they call an observationalist, so I primarily uh, look for and observe real objects as they are today, and that data is then used by the other main type of astronomer called a theorist, who then takes the observations that we do and look at and tries to understand them using physics and math. And so the theorists tend to stay in one place and they, the joke is they just need pen and paper and they're set. Uh, the observationalists require large telescopes and lots of hardware and instruments and those telescopes are usually located not in Florida, which is not a great place to observe, but in exotic places like Chile and Arizona and New Mexico and the United States, Hawaii, Canary Islands and all that. So uh, I do a lot of traveling because I need to go where the telescopes are. I wanted to do astronomy and specifically extrasolar planets since I was in high school and uh, I was really um, uh, turned on with uh, actually science fiction, Star Wars in particular. And uh, I had a huge love of Star Wars and science fiction when I was in junior high school and high school, and I still do. And it got me thinking, all these magical and incredible planets and worlds that they created for these movies and these TV shows, do they really exist in real life? And right about that same time, in the mid-90s and late 90s, is when we first started to discover real planets uh, for the first time as well. And so uh, that combination led me to, to really want to do what I could to, to further our understanding and, and see wh what kinds of real alien worlds may exist outside of our own solar system. Well, um, <laughs> I'm a big uh, proponent of animal rights, so I actually volunteer for a pet rescue group called Gainesville Pet Rescue every week. Uh, we take in homeless animals and give them a home until we can find a permanent home for them. Um, I'm also a big video game player, movies, uh, music. Uh, I like to travel uh, when I can, but I usually travel for <laughs> astronomy and observing, so, uh, but I, I try and do a little bit of traveling as well. Uh, I love museums and all that too, so uh, that's really what I try and do in my spare time.